Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, um, you haven't seen so many videos from me as I had planned because there's been an awful lot going on. Um, but I have been uh, still creating away, beavering away in, in my spare moments and uh, there will be some videos coming out soon. I've been working on my colour inspiration journal and a few other projects that I've got in the pipeline. Uh, but <laughs> as always everything stops for happy mail uh, i think i know i think i know who this one is from it's very fat i think it's a swap i think it's a stitch we swap and i think i know who it's from but i can't be sure <laughs> these twinkly twinkly um washi tape cute anyway let's have a look so this is for anybody that doesn't know this is for the great big little stitchery swap which has finished now for this time we'll be starting another round at the beginning of april so if you want to join in with the stitchery swap or the great big little art swap watch out for uh, announcements towards the end of march meanwhile um if you haven't already joined our facebook group and or our free discord community i would say go ahead and do that now start getting to know everyone and then you'll be all, all ready for the swap when, when it uh or for the swaps when they kick off i will put my link tree in the description box if you go there have a look for click on facebook group if you want to go to facebook and click on discord if you want to go to the discord community and you can do both either one is fine <laughs> right Ooh. don't watch me now do you let's go to the desk <coughs> so it's so lovely getting these uh i didn't do so many stitchery swaps this time but long the first time i did 44 i made 45 kept one myself i had 44 swaps and i had more come in than i sent out so i ended up with about it must have been 50 or 60 in the end <laughs> which i'm still in the process of putting into little books we'll come back and show you when they're done this time I, I didn't do so many but uh i loved opening every single one it is from who i thought it was because i recognize this artwork this is from the lovely this is from rachel so this is rachel breerton art rachel breerton art she's on youtube she's got a lovely youtube ch channel which she's not long started doing so please do go and check her out if you haven't already she's very inspiring she does the most amazing um paintings and things so yeah yeah well worth a look um and you'll also know her as arile in our discord community so there's a little note here this is one of her beautiful artworks and she does these She's had these cards printed. You can actually buy sets of her cards. I don't know if she's got any in the Maker's Market in the in Discord at the moment. Or if she sold them all. I don't know. I'm going to keep myself in suspense with the stitch square just for a little bit longer. Just read what the note says. She's got such lovely writing. Mine's awful. <laughs> Tony, thank you for swapping stitch squares with me. I was very happy to receive yours and I hope you like what I've made for you. I bet I'm going to love it. I think I'm getting a bit better at this sewing malarkey. So Rachel only really just started sewing, uh, slow stitching during our last swap. And um, and she did send me one of the first pieces she made, which I was thrilled to bits with. Yeah, she's really getting into it now. I've added a, I've added a handmade bookmark and a postcard printed from one of my designs. Oh, so which is this beautiful parrot. As a thank you for instigating these swaps. Oh it's been a lovely experience and i feel like i've made new friends you definitely have it's just yeah we've all found our tribe through this amazing hobby of ours i think i hope you have had a good start to 2024 so far and wish you the best of the year to come you too rachel oh lovely note and uh, last time in the swap um rachel's niece and nephew got involved as well <laughs> in the art swap and um because we, we did the art swap and the, and the stitchery swap i swapped i swapped art with rachel's niece and nephew as well which is really fun I think they like their creative days with Auntie Rachel. I'm so I will keep myself in suspense a bit longer because, as you'll know, if you're a regular viewer, you know I love to investigate the uh, messy backsides first. Do you only hope you like your stitchery swap. Oh, look at this! Beautiful! Look at that lovely little piece of collage. I love that. I love those colours. I love the shapes in it. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that and a postcard this will be going in my special i'm doing um like a portfolio like a mini portfolio to put all the beautiful pieces of art and things that i've had through these swaps and that people have sent me outside of the swaps as well i just i just it's just so i feel so so lucky to have them and um you know it's the same with the stitchery swaps every time if i'm having a little bit of a day 
I can always cheer myself up having a look through my swaps. It just, it's just such a, a special thing to have these pieces that people have created for you. It's just incredible. And uh, yeah, I've met so many amazing, talented, creative people through all of this. Isn't this wonderful? It's a bookmark. I'm going to pull the bookmark, bookmark out next. I've seen these that Rachel makes. I'm so cool. It's very Rachel star that is with these amazing watercolour backgrounds and then the, the um, doodling that she does over the top. That's, I would have guessed that was Rachel even if I, even if someone hadn't told me. <laughs> that is so lovely. I've got some, I've got some gorgeous um, bookmarks now <laughs> and I do use them. I use them in my creative reference books when I've been doing the colour inspiration journal and stuff. It's just lovely to have them there. But maybe in the end I'll put them all into this little portfolio. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know. But yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Rachel. I love it. And she does she she does things. She does her watercolor paintings and things on her YouTube channel. It just makes it look so easy. <laughs> I've saved the best for last, I think. So she's it's very tidy on the back. This isn't a messy backside at all. <laughs> she's backed it onto a piece, so all that I can feel crunchiness. I think this is going to be very textural. Oh, Rachel. Wow. I love it. I love, love, love it. Look at... Oh. Oh. <laughs> the goose pimples just came out and I'm dribbling. <laughs> oh, just love this combination of the orange and the, and the kind of magenta together. I just always love that. Look at these huge, fat French knots that she's done. I love the look. Oh, it's so tactile. I love the look of them against the... Um, the colour isn't quite right on camera, but we're not doing bad. It's, it's... Look at that. It's looking slightly redder on camera than it is. It's actually a little bit more towards violet. But it's, yeah, the camera's not doing bad, actually. All the blanket stitching around here. Love the look of these French knots in the against that kind of organza there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at all the different textures. So you've got this cotton here with all the lovely cantha stitching, which I always love. This um, kind of cheap, like dyed cheesecloth kind of stuff, all couched down. Love it. Look at all the little star charms all stitched on. Look at those. Oh, Wow, lovely pearl lace red blanket stitch all around to, to frame the whole thing. And buttons, I'm a sucker for buttons. Beautiful, beautiful. Just love it. More of the um, dyed and kind of cheesecloth in the background. Not cheesecloth. It is cheesecloth, isn't it? Muslin, whatever. Like you use for straining things. <laughs> cool. And even the, the, the backing fabric that she's used. Beautiful. I just I love everything about that. I love the colour, I love the composition of it, I love all the different texture, all the stitching in it. You can't help but touch it. And as is always the way with these things, it looks gorgeous on screen there, but it's even more gorgeous in real life. Thank you so much, Rachel. I, I love it. I just love it. I made myself sniff again now. Um, doing the first swap, I just constantly had a box of tissues in here because I was getting swaps in every single day and I was just forever reaching for tissues. I haven't thought to do it this time. Oh. <laughs> look at all the, look at beautiful, just beautiful, and they all go together really nicely too, don't they? I'm just trying to set this up now for my thumbnail. What I'm tending to do is it just do little teasers in my thumbnail and just do a little close up of the stitching, but set it up anyway I'll decide later <laughs> absolutely gorgeous thank you so much Rachel I love them love them love them and it's it's so oops it's so inspiring as well having all these different little pieces of stitching from different people you just in in the second swap <clears throat> the squares that I made I, I'd I used a lot of ideas that I'd got from the squares that came into me in the first swap. You know, you, you, you all kind of bounce ideas off each other. And think, oh, that's a nice colour combination. Or, oh, I hadn't thought of doing that. Or, you know, I'm going to have to go get tissue now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel. I absolutely love them. Um, and I will, I will treasure those. Oh, 
Like now the swaps all all done and dusted. I'm putting the online gallery together. I must just say, if you've um, if you've made uh, squares for the stitchery swap and you would like them to feature in the gallery this time, you need to email pictures to me. Email pictures of the squares that you sent out. So what I need is a picture of each square the square the whole square and nothing but the square it would help if it it's it would be better if you don't send me kind of if you made 12 squares don't send me all 12 in one in one photo so that I've got to crop each one obviously it's going to take you a while to crop each one yourself but you imagine how long it takes me when I've got hundreds to look at so send me send me a picture of each square you can attach several photos to one email my email will be in the link tree which I will put in the description box click on the link the link tree link and then click on the button that says email and my email will come up email me there um last time i trawled all through facebook and instagram and things and picked them up i can't do that this time i can only include them if you've emailed me them when you email put in the subject line of the email put gallery put the word gallery somewhere so that i can pick it up then that way it's easy for me to double check i haven't missed any tell me your name as you want it displayed in the gallery Tell me which country you're from. If you don't want to, that's that's fine. I'll just put you in country unspecified. And if you've got any links you want, like so, Rachel, um, I I might link to her, I could link to her YouTube channel or to her Instagram. So if you've got a link, I can only include one link per square. So tell me which link you would like, and I can include that as well. If you, I'll, I'll try and remember to link to the previous. Um, stitchery swap gallery so you can have a look if you go in there and you can see your squares have been allocated to the wrong person or or um, I mean just recently someone let me know that they've been put in country unspecified and they're actually in the UK um, just let me know and I can I can put that right um, and if you've still got photos of your squares you made for the last swap and they didn't get included that's because I missed them because they weren't tagged or whatever um, there was a lot <laughs> so you but you can still send them to me now if they're from the previous swap just let me know it's from the first swap hopefully all that makes sense if not ask me in the comments and I'll help out so that's 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 it from me now I'm going to go back to what I was in the middle of thanks so much again to Rachel I really I've, I will treasure all of those just absolutely love them um, thank you all very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that little peek and I will see you again really soon really soon bye <laughs> probably sooner than you might wish for <laughs>